If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can directly change many payroll item fields within the Employee Defaults window. To open the Employee Defaults window in Sage 50 Accounting, select Maintain, Default Information, Employees from the menu bar after finishing the Payroll Setup Wizard in Sage 50. To set the default General Employee settings, click the General tab. To create a new default custom field for employee records, click its enabled checkbox and then type its name under its adjacent Field Labels column. To set the default display of employee names, select an option button under the Display Employee Name With section. If the Locality field is used in payroll, you can enter the name of the locality into the Locality field. To view and edit payroll fields that affect employee pay, like deductions, additions, and exceptions, click the Employee Fields tab. After these fields are created in the Employee Defaults window, they are then available for use by all employees. You can then customize these individual fields for each employee's record later as needed. These fields are created by your responses in the Payroll Setup Wizard. And you can also return to the Payroll Settings window by selecting Maintain, Payroll, Payroll Settings to change or add employee deductions and contributions, which also affects the fields shown here. To view and edit payroll fields used to track the employer's payroll information, like company paid payroll taxes, click the Company Fields tab. These fields are created by your responses in the Payroll Setup Wizard 2. Like the employee fields, making changes to your previous responses in the Payroll Settings window can affect the fields shown here. After initially setting up payroll, an alternative way to also access the Payroll Settings window is by selecting Maintain, Default Information, Payroll Settings from the menu bar. To create the default employee ratings, Click the Review Ratings tab, then enter up to 10 ratings for employee performance into the Ratings column on this tab. To create the default employment statuses, click the Employment Status tab. Some statuses are provided by default and you can keep them, edit them, and add more if needed. Enter the desired statuses into the Status column. To save changes to the employee defaults, Click the OK button in the Employee Defaults window. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.